This is the Vintage V72 in Laguna Blue with a mint green scratch plate. The guys at JHS sent this to me and I love the fact they sent me one that has a mini humbucker in the neck. This neck pickup is the Wilkinson WDG ceramic mini humbucker and the bridge pickup is the Wilkinson WTB Alnico single coil. I think this is the type of guitar you get after you've got your first like your single coil guitar and your humbucker guitar and you want something that's a bit more interesting and a bit different. So this has got an F hole which is really cool. So it's a semi hollow which means it's a fair bit lighter than what you'd expect from like a Fender Tele, yeah. That's, there's definitely a bit of, I mean, that's actually quite heavy for a, a Fender Telecaster, but this V72, this is a really nice weight. So it should sound a bit, so this is just the room mics. So just a little bit more volume when you're playing acoustically. May not be interesting to some people, but sometimes it's nice to play a guitar when it's not plugged in. It's got a nice shaped headstock, and I love the fact they've matched the Laguna Blue with the body. Also, it's got this chamfered edge on this edge of the headstock, which I think's a nice feature. It just looks a bit more interesting than having it square. It's got Grover Deluxe tuners. You can't go wrong with Grover tuners. I put them on instruments just to not worry about anything going wrong with it. There's actually a little bit of flaming up the neck on this. A couple more interesting things. So the jack socket, it's set into the body, but I like this style of jack socket. I just think it's nicer. Can be a bit difficult to get an angled lead in, but just don't use an angled lead, problem solved. I just prefer this, I think it looks nicer. It's a lot smarter than one of those plates. Now on the back of the guitar, these ferrules, these, having made guitars, it's really hard to get these perfectly lined up. And I've noticed this on all vintage guitars, they're all perfectly lined up. They're not even lined up perfectly on my Chapman M03 Pro. Well, I mean, one's just a, a tiny bit off, but it's really, really difficult doing it myself. I've never managed it. So whoever's making these in the factory is doing an amazing job. I also like this neck plate. I like this little taper, which is what I did, which is what I did on this, which I just think is a nicer feature than having a square neck plate. It gives you a bit more, I'm going to say a bit more access. It's not the end of the world. But I suppose it does make a tiny bit of difference, actually. I don't really play up this end enough to care, but I just prefer the look of that. <laughs> it's got a vintage soft C neck profile. I mean, it doesn't feel big or small, it just feels nice. It doesn't feel like a chunky neck, which is good. It's got a rosewood fretboard. It's nice seeing proper rosewood. As always, the fret job on these is very good. No sharp fret ends. And the ends of the frets are nicely dressed. Got a graph tech nut. It's always nice to see a graph tech nut on things. It's just less problems. Sound wise, everything on full, clean. The neck pickup, which is that ceramic mini humbucker. <laughs> Sounds nice, actually. Middle position should be interesting because we've got a humbucker and a single coil. I think that sounds great. So that's the middle position. And the bridge. This is going to be a little bit twangy. We'll do the bridge with some drive in a second. We'll do full on distortion just to see what it sounds like. Just going to 
try a plimsoll on the neck pickup because I think it might sound interesting. <laughs> good craftsmanship for a guitar of this price like I say all this all these features are really nicely done they're really neat and I like the little touches even things like this it just just makes the guitar well, a bit more interesting and a bit more playable but that like, you can buy one of these it does something different it's got an F-hole which you don't you don't get on many guitars it just makes it have a bit of a different sound but having a mini humbucker I just think that's that's really cool it does something different it sounds a bit different it's not your normal boring what you'd expect. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with boring. Here's a video on the vintage V62. It's a bit like this, same shape, but it's got two single coils. I had played the black one, which was relict, but it was really nice. But the, the neck was sort of sanded back and that felt, it felt like a really nice played in guitar. Sort of similar spec, really worth checking out. If you're considering a vintage V62, V72, which one should you get? Check out that video and see which one you prefer.